He's one of the faces of Adrenaline Training Center who's on the verge of becoming one of the faces of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Mark the Machine Hominick has been summoned by UFC to contend for its brand new 145-pound division title. First thing, he'll have to beat his training buddy George Roop at the UFC Fight for the Troops event set for January 22nd at Fort Hood in Texas. Mark's been in a holding pattern due to a hand injury of late, but the cast is off and he's confirmed ready. Actually, he's taking a bit of a step back. Had he been healthy, he'd be fighting for the belt early next year. It's frustrating knowing that I did have the, the UFC title shot in my hand. It was just, uh, you know, the injury to my thumb it wouldn't give him enough time to train. So you, you got to look at what's best for the long term. And I know, you know, I do one more fight. I'm right there in contention again. I uh, just got to go out there January 22nd and remind people why I'm the number one contender for that UFC belt. Mark's been in the fight game for 10 years and knows his fight in Texas early next year is his shot at UFC glory. You know, Adrenaline boasts another star who is eyeing down a UFC fight, and he's a good bet because Chris the Menace Clements just knocked out UFC veteran Jonathan Goulet in Quebec to win the ringside welterweight belt. The UFC's coming April 30th is the rumored date for Ontario, and I'm pretty much on the borderline of getting on that show. The guy I just knocked out was nine-time UFC vet, so I beat him, and he actually retired after the knockout. I retired him, so... I'm sure the UFC's looked at it and all my wins come by knockout. I always put on my exciting fight, so I'm, I'm sure I'm on the radar.